Hey, it's the Midnight Run, and today we're doing a Halloween unboxing. So, I have a friend who has a wax melt um, independent seller, should we say, and her company is called Mahina Melts and More. There's the information on the back. This is the Facebook page you want to check out for all her new bits. Today we are opening her Halloween scents. She also does an autumn one. They're £7 and there also will be a Christmas calendar, which I am also going to pick up. That will be a Christmas advent calendar. There were two different types and they were £12. But today we are showing you Halloween. So you get this little gift bag that says thank you. I went there and picked it up in person. She goes to the local craft fairs and the Saturday market that is in my hometown. And this is the Halloween set. So this was seven pounds. Um, so basically you paid, if you want to call it 50p a melt, which isn't bad, uh, a price. So you got the little sticker on there that makes it Halloween-y and she also is doing an autumn fragrance set. On the back, you get everything you need to know about each of them, all the ingredients, the whole shebang, and then you get told what the scent is. So we're going to take a look as best we can. Um, I'm going to show you one of the melts and then tell you what they are and try and describe them. So the first wax melt we are going to take a look at is named Spirit. So they're all heart-shaped. It would have been nice for them being Halloween ones if all the shapes had been different. Oh, it smells like talcum powder. Got a very fresh, clean, kind of laundry talcum powder smell. Reminds me of my nan, like the old style talcum powder. But that's quite nice. So that is Spirit. I do like the fact that they're in different colours. I just wish they were different shapes more Halloween. Okay, this one is called Spooktacular. This is like a purpley black one. Ooh. It smells like cinnamon. It's got that cinnamon smell. I think it's cinnamon. It's very strong. It's kind of cinnamon clove smell. Very strong. That would burn really nicely, sort of in the run up to Christmas. I know it's a Halloween scent, but still. Okay. Then we have this kind of cream coloured one. And this is called, yeah, it was Cinnamon or Cinnamel, the last one. This one is White Witch. Ooh, this has got more like an autumnal like like fern smell like like kind of forestry i'm not very good when it comes to scents i must admit and this one's got like little bits in it it's got like a very clean woody smell i just wish it gave more details about the scents of the items like the spectacular said cinema spirit doesn't really say anything this this says white witch i wish i knew what was in them so like a bit more detail but it is very clean smelling though so if you're looking for like non-harsh smells it would be perfect uh, especially when i live in a flat i don't like really pungent smells this one is called hocus pocus Ooh, this is nice this is more floral it's got more like a floral smell to it it is bright pink mind you more of a floral it's nice though it's not really my one that one okay making our way down to level number two this one is called candy apple oh now you can definitely smell the apple in that one oh it smells like a granny smith apple i don't get the candy part it's very overpowering apple smell, and I mean overpowering. It's proper. This would fill your entire flat with the smell. Okay. 
Okay, the next one we have is Dragon's Blood. Okay. Okay, this is more like a floral smell again. I'm not sensing the the Halloween theme, if I'm honest, how these are Halloween-y, but I could be wrong. Mm, it's all right, but it's not my favourite. In all honesty, they all kind of smell the same. Some of them are more pungent. This one is Red Moon. Oh, this one's... It's more like an old smell, like a musky smell. I wish she'd have put the actual scents on there of what's in them, like whether it's a musk, a floral, a woody, that kind of thing. Gave me more to go on when showing you. Um, but you got that one. And the last one is like an orangey colour with little leaves in it and this one is pumpkin brew so you do have pumpkins at halloween oh that smells very woody and kind of again forestry it's very strong that one but they are nice mind you yeah so there were two different kinds there was the halloween scents which is the one i picked up and then there was a autumnal one um if i can find it quickly um these were seven pound you got two of each scent which is which is cool i like the fact that you got two of each um i wish i knew the sense of more of them I wish it had more than just the name of the item. I wish it had what the scents were. So, you know, if it was a floral, a musky, woody, um, clean. Um, but they also did a um, autumn collection. I don't know whether they're the same scents or anything. Um, but she does have a lot of Halloween um, designed ones as well. I wish the Halloween ones were in a different shape. Um, I know the heart ones are like a traditional, um, but I really wish they were in a different shape, like a cat, a witch's hat, in a shape of a broom, shape of a pumpkin. Um, I don't like the fact that the heart shapes, it's not very Halloween-y. Um, but again, we did have Hocus Pocus, White Witch, spooktacular and spirit on this side and then on this side we had pumpkin brew red moon dragon's blood and candy apple i have ordered her 12 pound um christmas calendar there were two designs there was a silver or there was a blue um if you paid in september you got 10 percent off um by paying a five pound deposit which i have done um and you got to choose whether you wanted a blue box or whether you wanted the silver box um each of them can contain a one ounce pot um and there are 12 in total um and then the one i just bought which is this halloween one there was an autumn one and the autumn scents were pumpkin spice, bonfire, toasted marshmallow, autumn leaves, pumpkin spice latte, cinnamon stick, warm woolen blanket, sweater weather. And they were the ones you got for the autumn one. Mine were Hocus Pocus, Spooktacular, Pumpkin Brew, Spirit, White Witch, Dragon's Blood, Candy Apple and Red Moon which I paid seven. Like I said, I've also ordered the Christmas calendar one. I think it's called a calendar or an advent calendar, whatever I ordered. But these were seven pounds. I don't think they're bad. It makes it 50p a wax melt. Um, I went for the Halloween ones. The only thing I wish um, is on the ones that don't have what they actually are, like the candy apple. The one is spirit. I wish next to it she put it whether it's a musk, a woody, a floral, a fruity, and just gave us a bit more details on the actual scents. 
um, it take two seconds just to write woody, dusk, floral, just a personal preference on me. I do like more details about my wax mint melt scents because quite a few people don't like things like rose, lavender, uh, a lot of people don't like an aloe vera smell or an orangey smell. Um, if you're like me, I'm just fussy when it comes to wax melts and my aromas. But there you go. There's all the little wax melts in their little case. They're perfectly fine. I just wish I had more details about the scents to bring to you. But if you want to check out her website, um, I will put their information there. If you want to look at the autumn scents you want to look at the christmas calendars that she does if you just go onto her facebook and if you do buy anything um tell her the midnight raven sent you i don't get anything for you going there it's just for her to let you know for you to let her know that uh her advertising has gone around i did pay for these out my own money i'm not sponsored or anything i do show them as a favor to her because i think she's a really small business that needs some help so Check out Mahina Melts and more. I will link the Facebook group down below if you want to check it out. I'm going to show you the advent calendar as soon as I've got it. I have just paid my deposit so that I can get 10% off. Um, and I will see you very soon for another video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.